Greetings folks, I have some information regarding the new AMD Ryzen CPUs and what kind of laptops we can expect them in, especially over the near future and perhaps even over the next 6, 12, or 18 months. Now while I cannot credit my sources in the description below as I do not want to compromise my integrity that I have with them, please understand that I have been a tech enthusiast for well over 10 years, I'm on many forums using different aliases, and I have a really good rapport and connection with some people that can give me some straight answers. Whether this is via email, even phone call, or text message, I'm not trying to flex anything here other than the fact that my sources are credible. I do understand that this is a small channel, so take this with a grain of salt. And if you're very skeptical, I completely understand. But please know that I am not trying to forward any misinformation here as I do not want to compromise the integrity of my small channel. So with that said, here's the three things that I know about the new Ryzen CPUs and inside of laptops, what to expect. Number one, most manufacturers, our favorite manufacturers, expect to see the Ryzen mobile CPU inside of some of their laptops within the next two months maybe just a little bit longer, okay? So it seems like perhaps maybe MSI and ASUS got dibs on these first, and as chip production has ramped up, a lot of these manufacturers that we love, that we haven't seen their Ryzen solutions out yet, are probably already made or nearing the end of that, and they're going to get you know shipped out to the warehouses, and then eventually we'll be able to get our hands on these, hopefully in June. So do expect to see that. But the second and third thing, they, they go together and they're most certainly the most disappointing aspect of this whole entire conversation. And I think you deserve to know. So number two and number three. Well, don't expect to see the new Ryzen mobile chip in the premium devices such as the Aero 15 anytime soon, the Razor Blade, things like that, the, the, the premium thin and lights that people have grown to love. Don't expect to see those in a MAG-15 as this was a collaboration project with Intel. So definitely don't expect to see one inside of a laptop just like this. And as far as the Ryzen Mobile in the Max line, here's what I know across all the vendors. You're not going to see that CPU inside of those types of laptops yet. They are being put into the Tough Series, the MSI Bravo, the, the nice laptops, and they get the job done, but they're not that, that high top tier premium level. And alongside that, the fastest GPU that we can expect being paired with the 4800H, the 4900H, all these new wonderful 4000 series Ryzen mobile CPUs. You ready? RTX 2060. That's right. You're not going to see a 2070 Max P, a 2070 Super, 2080. You get where I'm going. Those are reserved for the Intel solutions so far. Now, we can speculate and have fun with this all we want. The fact of the matter is, it it's probably more of a trust thing. A lot of these companies want to see just how good this Ryzen chip is. Oh, hey, this is looking pretty good now. Oh, wow, the consumer wants to get this. Maybe we'll start to dabble in some of the higher end stuff because a lot of these Aero 15s out in the market are just a fraction of the amount of laptops compared to something like the Asus Tough series. So I would expect personally out of my mouth and not on any of my sources is that I would see these Ryzen mobile CPUs in higher end laptops sometime maybe next year, perhaps the end of this year, best case scenario. But as of right now, that you know, $900 to $1,200 mark with the, let's say RTX 2060 with these eight core 16 thread Ryzen mobile chips is probably gonna be about the best that we're going to get for the most part. Now, Asus does have the G14 and upcoming G15, which do look pretty good, but I think we're still going to see the limitation of the RTX 2060 as the top tier graphics paired with these CPUs. And I get it, that's unfortunate, but I think we will see this change hopefully in the next year. So what about the, uh, the Radeon, the Mobile 5500M? 
that is available to the market now. That actually was available sometime last year as I did review one of those graphics cards. Then we have the 5600M and God willing the 5700M, which should be about as uh, strong as let's say a 2070 Max-P, which would be a 115 watt GPU. Those should be to market coming up soon. And if we could get that paired with maybe a Ryzen 4800H, that could be a pretty cool solution, as long as the drivers are reliable, very nice. So there is some light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to getting something perhaps a little bit better than the RTX 2060 being the 5700M, pending no driver issues there. That could be a good laptop and something that we could expect to see this year, which is great. But as of right now, expect the three things. One, don't expect to see many Ryzen mobile laptop solutions from your favorite vendors for about two months, maybe a little bit more. Two, don't expect these high-end premium solutions at least for another year, give or take six months. And three, looks like the RTX 2060 is going to be about as good as we are going to get, at least for what we are going to see anytime soon. All right. Take that with a grain of salt. I appreciate your skepticism. My sources are reliable. And I'm Bob of All Trades, and I'll see you in the next video.